Today we are here to commemorate and remember Zachor, which means remember. It is remembering those who do not have graves, who do not have marked places where they were killed, and we come together to remember them. And we have survivors today, very few, but they are here to stand with us and to light a candle in memory of their loved ones and in memory of those who couldn't come and be with us because they are too frail. Today, Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day, Albertans join people from around the world as we remember the victims and the survivors of the Nazi Holocaust. We cannot forget the lessons taught by this dark past. We cannot assume that someone else will step up and do what needs to be done. In this, we must all work together. And that is why we are gathered here today to remember. I think it should be a priority for our community to come over and talk, to hear stories to hear what happened, to be in contact, because we, we are the generation that is going to take these stories and move them forward. We're the last generation that can hear stories, that can hear these words. We shouldn't only be looking for hints of how our culture is preparing itself for doing something terrible. We should also be actively working on finding ways of healing because we are at one with their memory, and we pray for the elevation of their souls. Their resting place should be the Garden of Eden. Therefore, shall the Master of Mercy care for them under the protection of his wings for all time, and bind their souls in the bond of everlasting life. They will come in peace and will rest in peace. They will meet their rightful destiny at the end of days. And let's say, Amen.